students, this is Darby again, and today we are learning how to do contact sheets uh, for digital proofs and um, submissions. So we're in Photoshop CS6. Uh, make sure we're selected here. We'll hit File. I'm going to roll down here to Automate and roll over to Contact Sheet. So that was File, Automate, Contact Sheet. Click on that. All right, so you want to make sure you have folders selected. And I'm going to go to Choose and basically it's going to pop up and you can click pictures or wherever you want to go but I have a students right on my desktop so I'm going to click on Nick right there and I'm going to hit open and it's going to collect all of Nick's things if you want to you can click and change to files but we did folder um, and then I'm going to go here and make sure we have inches 8 by 10 um, it's usually probably going to be around 300, which is great for printing off uh, proofs, but we just want to submit it digitally. So anything around 72 pixel uh, DPI or 100 DPI are going to be, is going to be great for uh, digital pictures, uh, anything on the web. Color mode is RGB. It's great. We want to make sure we flatten our layers. This is highly important to make sure you do this. All right, and this talks about our columns and our spacings. I also have auto spacing selected. So no matter how many photos I have, it's going to kind of auto change, which I think that's good for right around 20 to 25, which is what our goal is. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to do all the thinking for me. This might take a few moments. I only have a couple photos, like six or seven. So if you're going to do 20, it might take a little bit longer. Now we play the waiting game. It's still waiting. And I really don't want to edit this part out because I want you guys to see how long it takes to do this. There you go. It wasn't too bad. Uh, just under a minute for those. So if you're going to do twice as many, it'll be a little bit more. So then what we want to do is we hit File. We're going to hit Save As. Uh, we are going to change this name here to Scavenger. And then we put Nick's name and his initial there. So that way I know when he submits this that what assignment it was and his name. Um, and then we're going to change the format here to JPEG. And all right, we're good. Now we're going to hit save and it's going to pop up here. And this is where you could change uh, the quality. We want it all the way. We're going to hit OK. And there it goes. All right. If you have any questions, please shoot me a line, email, or YouTube, or what have you, however you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. I uh, appreciate all the feedback. Thank you so much for this channel and uh, everything you guys help out. Bye.